Now, I can't plot right now, but that's definitely nice and close for a capture. And this should have plenty of Delta V to do it. Okay, now we should be able to plot a capture, and it's important to me that we don't accidentally go into Jules' atmosphere, so let's do plot it properly. I think we'll just keep it loose, because we do have to correct the inclination and boost up. But maybe not too loose, otherwise the other mission will get here while we're trying to do stuff with this. Okay, so we have captured, and I think I'll just correct first. It might be better to wait, but I'm impatient. And we've got extra Delta V, I think. This, there was a Leif Periapsis there that we definitely don't want. Well, I can't see the inclination, but okay, it's low enough. Space plane's there. We are crashing into it. Hopefully not too decisively. Oh gosh, we're crashing really decisively. Um, that's probably going to cost a lot to fix. Okay, well that's a 492 meter per second correction that we have to do, so that's not nice, but we have plenty, hopefully. Which way around should the camera be? <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Really, we should have a way of disposing of that stage. Oh, we already captured it anyway. Let's gotta leave it in jewel orbit, but whatever. Okay, separation. See, we have Delta V, silly thing. There's a interesting light there. Oh, that's because uh, Leif is there and then Jewel is lit up to that point. So it makes a little sliver of Jewel like that. Well, there's a lot of little dots. There's more than one one. Why? I don't have anything plotted. Why is there more than one one? Confusing. I'm just gonna go with two. There's only one two. Maybe I shouldn't have rendezvoused with the station bits first and instead gone for the space plane first. Where is the space plane? There. Well, well, we'll, we'll put them together. I mean, that, that's more critical anyway. Uh oh, I, I was too late. Again, we have interesting slivers on Jupiter, but where is our target? There it is. Uh, go that way, go that way. Let me not get this close to it this soon. That's the docking port. Okay, we're just getting some sunlight. Okay, well, it's probably close enough for KSP2. Maybe these docking ports are pickier? Nope. Okay. Yes, flight in progress. It stays in progress, okay? Alright. You know what, maybe, maybe we'll just let it go on its own. I don't know if the RCS on here is going to be good enough for docking, but it's better than not having any. Uh, maybe, hmm. Yeah, let's just have it going on its own. 
Okay, so this control from here. And actually, you can use that engine after all. And you need to get to the station module like that. Uh, they're, they're using a little bit of skew though. That's gotta be annoying. Not to mention that thing is hollow. RCS is nice. Alright. Got a little encounter there. So, to make the RCS more effective, we want to have the center of mass as far forward as possible, but we don't really have anywhere to move the stuff. At least we've got a big RCS tank up front, right there. So, oh well, that's not the RCS tank. But somewhere up there is an RCS tank that'll hopefully pull it up. But still, it's rather imbalanced as far as the RCS is concerned. Uh, what's our module doing? It seems to be spinning a lot. Stop. Stop. Well, it seems good enough on the RCS. Where docking alignment can be helpful is in terms of the rotation of the modules. Okay, zero research just popped up. That was quite a distance, and I swear it separated a little bit, but... <laughs> okay, so that, that's all docked together, that's fine. Now the other bit has to refuel our space plane. Guess it's default name 25. Okay, well, it's... We should just let it catch up to us. We can probably correct the inclination though. The other thing isn't anywhere close to coming in yet, right? Right. Okay, maybe I should do this in the tracking station. Do we get to rename these things? We don't... Oh, yeah, up here. Let's see if I can rename it. Station. Okay, hopefully it'll keep that name. That's probably too much to hope for, though. No, 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 I meant X. Okay, close enough. Okay, maybe I'm going too slow here. Okay, now I want to control from here. And then we'll send this over to the station too. I mean, I don't think we need to fill it up, fill it up. I don't think it needs that much much fuel, but probably just do it for safety's sake. Those are pretty big tanks on the thing, so we can't actually fully fill it up. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, we can just dump all that in. Oh no, it's doing the multiplying the tanks thing again. We need some to get this module onto the station though. That's probably good enough. Still making the sound. Stop. It's still making the fuel transfer sound. Three thousand meters per second. Well, that should be good enough for everything. Okay, so this needs to go over to the station now. I guess we'll still go with a mill. We'll catch up to it, even though it's closer to catching up to us. It's taking a long time to phase with it. <laughs> uh, 
time warp. Let's 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 see this skirting the surface. Now that's getting close there. Um, oh, it's still not close enough. Just double check that I'm controlling from that side. Oh, that's inconvenient. Um, oh, can't do it that way. Well, come over here, you station. Not super duper want doing what I wanted to do, but we'll get there somehow. Definitely too tired for this. Well, it's a little bit suborbital. That uh, is not a good strategy. Okay. With Earth, ironically, with Earth, it'd be easier to brute force it at this point. Uh, 14 kilometers would be fine, but we can't do it like this. Okay, well that's not good. Uh, yeah, let's keep burning there. Now well, hopefully three kilometers will be fine. Maybe yeah, I should just RCS this part. We've got 0 0.03 hydrogen and three tons of mod propellant. <laughs> okay, 2.3 kilometers. We've got a lot of mod propellant delta V. But yeah, the running out of this stuff is probably okay. This was just a tug, right? Or a tanker. It was a refueler, so. It's not much to it. Most of the mass is just the d engines now. Probably should have used, like, just terriers or something. But then again, we had to refuel something that used hydrogen, so... Might as well, right? Okay, no, I don't need it to turn, though. Use that reaction wheel. Honestly, the RCS is actually pretty balanced on this compared to other stuff. I mean, compared to the module we just docked to the station, this says the RCS plays pretty nicely. Okay, where do we want to dock this? I think that one will be good. Angles are pretty deceptive sometimes. I think for KSP2, that's okay, right? What the hell just happened? Guys, no, wait, um, no, no, come back, F9. Guys, something happened. Okay, well, at least it's not, okay, um, I'm gonna call it for today. <laughs> it just it just willfully denied me a docking there. And we'll um we'll save and we'll figure that out next time. I I I can't <laughs> I've had enough I've had enough. This this is a good time to stop. As long as both things are still in orbit. Oh no. Just verify. What's combined? Wait, the the station isn't combined, right? No, that's this. This is combined now. The plane is combined. Okay, station is here. 
station is in orbit safely. Yeah. Let's just leave it here for today. 